All right, last video for the week, day 35. We're looking for k pairs with the smallest sums. And we have two arrays and an integer k. We want k pairs with numbers with the smallest sum so that in each pair, each array contributes one number to the pair. For example, an example is worth a thousand words. We have k of three. We've got these two lists. We want the three smallest pairs. So a pair can be 2 and 1 is a pair, 2 and 3 is a pair, 2 and 6, 8 and 1, 8 and 3, 8 and 6, 9 and 1, 9 and 3, 9 and 6. So those are all the pairs, possible pairs, I think. Are they all the possible pairs? Yeah, all the possible pairs for these two lists. And we want the three smallest ones, that the three, the, the ones that where they are sum, the sum of the items in the pair are the smallest. So basically the third smallest one, and we have it here. So 2 and 1. 2 and 3 and 2 and 6 they're the three smallest pairs i hope it makes some sense these are the four smallest pairs of these two lists so the three took one three took two three plus one is four three plus two is five see the mirror four plus one is five four plus two is five we won't see like eight and one because that's nine right when we have four and two which is six for example yeah. this one we want two so we get one from here one from here and this second one, and this second one, because they sum up to two, and they are smaller than every other combination you can find. This is also a lead code medium. Uh, yeah, this is a lot. So yeah, I think that explains it. Let's look at the solution. It's also a lead code medium. There's a naive solution that I'm not interested in, as you guys will know. But this is a lot of text, so why don't we just look at the diagram? So we want the three smallest pairs from these two lists. What are we going to do? How are we going to do that? So we want a minimum heap. And we're going to take everything in list one, two, eight, and nine. And the first element from this two. Sum, sum them up. So 2 plus 1 is 3, 9, 8 plus 1 is 9, 9 plus 1 is 10. So we're going to do that. That's the very first step of this problem. And afterwards, we, we've gotten the first smallest pair, right? Because uh, the list is sorted, right, from lowest to highest. So there can be nothing smaller than that very thing on the top that, that created what is on top of the list, which will be, right, the first two elements, two and one. Uh, so we already have that. We'll, we pop it from the heap, and then we, what do we do next? The first element of list one, so the same two, and the second element of this two. So we push that onto the heap as well. Two plus three is five. You can see still on top of the heap, the heap. How about that? So we know we have the second largest element. We're looking for the, we have a K of three. So we're gonna take two and three next. All right, we'll pop it and bring it in. Um, we're still at it again. And because this worked, we are going to push 6 next, 2 and 6, 8. And again, it's the smallest thing, so that's just going to give us what we want. And we already have three elements, and we are good. So let me look at this with the code. So here we define our minimum heap. This is what we're going to return, an array of arrays similar to what they return here, right? An array of arrays, like or tuples, right? Two element arrays. <laughs> Next, we are going to iterate over the length of list of the list, or k, right? Either we go through the entire length of list, or or we go through the list k times, the, whichever is smaller. In this case, they're the same. So k is three, and the length of the list is three. And we do the thing. What are we going to do? We are going to add every single element 
that we traverse in the first list to only the first element, to only this first element. Right? Because again, it's from an ascending order and we want the smallest thing. So the smallest thing will be some combination of this first element. And we do that keeping track of the fact that in the second list, we added the first element, which is zero um, there and the ith element of the first list. Okay, hope, hope that's not too confusing. So basically, um, yeah, the f we're gonna do keep track of the fact inside the same heap actually, that i is zero here, then i is one, then i is two, all right? So zero, one, two, and then we're always using zero here, and we keep track of that here, the that, um, and we keep track of what whatever i we were dealing with. Then we initialize a counter, right? Um, so while there's anything in the list and the counter is still less than k, we take the in the in the indices of whatever is on top. That's how we got to know that three came from this the first elements because we kept i in the heap and we get that i here. And for sure, whatever we get is the smallest thing, so we can add it to the pairs. And that's exactly what you see here. That's why uh, two and one made it here in the first place. Uh, next, we increment the index for the second list as we've compared all possible pairs with the first list. So we move from zero to one here. And we, if there is something there, if this two was long enough, we add, we do what we did before. That same i, the i that we got here, as the index of the first list that we were dealing with. We take that and sum it to what we're getting from the second list. So in this case, uh, three. Three. And we keep track of the index of the first list and then this is the index of the second list. So the index of the first list is still zero, uh, funny enough, uh, but the index of the second list has been incremented to one and we increment a counter and when we go through the loop again we pull it and that's when we get two and three and so on and so forth and so far we're below k or there's something left in the heap keep doing this at the end of the day just return what you've been pushing and voila c'est fini that is all all right so time complexity uh, k or k log m. If k is equal to n, then it's m, then it's m log m, pretty much. And um, so yeah, they do the same m plus k log m thing. And the space complexity is O of m, where m is equal to the smallest thing between k and n. And in the worst case, k is equal to n, so it's pretty much n, so O of n. Oh, thank you. See you next week.